In this video, I'll be sharing with you four intelligent ways to read faster by skipping words, but without losing comprehension. This is actually a topic that receives a lot of attention from scientists. And I'm mentioning this now because I usually intertwine all the research that I gather into my video. But in this case, because it's so much, everything will be linked into the description. So we have a better flow for the video. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing to understand here is that it's okay to skip words without losing comprehension. In fact, we do it all the time, but we do it unconsciously and by bringing Bringing some more conscious attention to it, we can actually capitalize on it as a technique, as a strategy to read faster. Now, the two major criteria for skipping a word is the word's length as well as its predictability. And based on these two factors, there's a lot of different strategies that we can use to skip words and in doing so reading faster and still comprehending everything that we're reading. So the first strategy that I want to share with you is called ignore the glue and focus on the meaning. So in a very broad sense, a text consists of two types of words, function words and content words. Function words are the words that glue in the text, so it makes sense grammatically. But they don't carry a lot of meaning and they're very short, they're, so they're very skippable. On the other hand, content words are the meaning carry words. So if we focus on them while skipping the rest of them, we can read the text without compromising with our comprehension, yet skipping all that we don't need. Now, some people are used to vocalizing or subvocalizing everything that they're reading. So in addition to focusing on the content words, some work on suppressing subvocalizing vocalization, some techniques related to that may also help. I already have a video on this, I'll be putting up more, but you can check that if you want to work on your subvocalization. The second strategy is to work on your language knowledge. So the greater your vocabulary and the greater your experience with the text is, the more you can allow yourself to skip words or to generally move your eyes through the text faster. Why is that? Well, because as we already mentioned, one of the leading factors for the skippability of words is their predictability and the richer our vocabulary is and the greater our experience with a language is, the more we can predict how words will be used in the text, what words will be used in the text, and so we can skip more of them. And one of the best ways to increase your language knowledge is by reading more extensively, which means each and every day reading for at least 15 minutes a day without interruption. Now, I will be doing more content on extensive reading as well as intensive reading and when that's useful as well, but in the context of being able to predict a text, to skip words without losing comprehension, start reading extensively, 15 minutes a day at least with no interruption. Now, having said that, what if you're not able to read extensively? Not because you cannot find the time for it or because you cannot focus, but because you constantly have to stop and check for the meaning of words. And not because of language reasons, but because of the subject of the text. Ah, well, here comes the third strategy, which is related to subject knowledge. And the way to develop subject knowledge or subject mastery is by studying effectively the subject of the text. And saying this, I want to address this one notion in the speed reading community that through reading faster, you get to increase your comprehension. And while this may be the case in some instances, actually greater comprehension can allow you to read faster for sure, because the more you study a given subject, the more time you spend with it, the faster you can read because you know the terminology, you know what to expect, you can predict the text and in doing so you can skip more effectively in more intelligent ways. Which leads us to the final strategy. And this one in a way steps on the shoulders of subject knowledge. And this is contextual knowledge. Now, in order for this to make the most sense, I'd like to give you an example from my own studies in neuroscience. And it's a very simple thing, so just bear with me here. When I was studying adrenaline, what adrenaline was for the first time, I encountered this term epinephrine, which at the time I didn't know that these were actually synonyms, just two words for the same thing that came to be around the same time. And this is an example of expanding subject knowledge. Now, later on, I encountered this author who said, well, when I say adrenaline, I mean the hormone, and whenever I say epinephrine, I mean the neurotransmitter transmitter is secreted in the brain. This is an example for contextual knowledge. So by knowing the author and how the text is organized, you learn to expect certain ideas being expressed in certain ways. So the text becomes even more predictable. And the way to develop this contextual knowledge is by, well, reading the text, but also preparing yourself, observing how the text is organized, how the content is planned. Using techniques like skimming and scanning, which I've already looked into different videos, may allow you to not only skip words, sentences, but maybe entire paragraphs paragraph segments that you may be already familiar with or that may not represent any interest. They may not be relevant to your studies right now. And these are four intelligent ways to read faster by skipping words without losing comprehension. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you sincerely for watching. Keep it bright and I'll see you next time.